previously on the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Yes! Yes! Oh, this is awesome! Man, the Unreal Engine really does a good job. And now back to everyone's favorite purple dragon from the 90s. Welcome, mares and stallions, dragons and dragoness. My name is Moonsaber and welcome to episode 2 of our Let's Play of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy playing through the original Spyro game. In the previous episode, we got started on this awesome game with the awesome music and the awesome graphics and awesome, just sheer awesomeness. And in the single and that hour special we did, we managed to complete through every artisan world in the game, including defeating the boss and doing the flight mission. So we're all set up and ready to go to our next world. But you might be wondering, what am I doing back here at Stone Hill? Well, as it turns out, a quick look through at the trophy list, realize, I realized that there's a trophy for every, I believe just about every level in the game, which means that there's a trophy here that I missed here at Stone Hill. What that trophy involves? Well, it's time for us to cook some sheep. Let's rock! Sheep, 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 come here sheep, let me cook you. I need that delicious, what is it, mutton? I think it's called mutton. Even though I know there's more sheep here yet. Burn! Burn all the sheep! Sheep kebab! That's what you get for burning 10 sheep in Stonehill. That's all I was here for? Let's head back. Alrighty. So with 1,000 gems in hand, and I believe it's 15 dragons rescued, and 2 eggs were secured, we will move on towards the next world. Ooh, the excitement builds. 16. Shows a little my math of that. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the balloonist. What's up, man? Wow. Marco the balloonist. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. Yes, and you have a nasally voice. You probably should take the scarf off. You may travel to the peacekeeper's world if you like. Awesome. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Pop. Bounce on his head, jump onto the balloon. We're going off to the peacekeeper's world. Coming in for a landing. Ah. Welcome to Peacekeeper World. We got our first dragon here, so let's go ahead and free him. Titan! Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasure has been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it. Oh, nice, they're a bunch of warrior dragons. Awesome. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I can already tell. Let's go ahead and do what we've done. Clear the area. Nope, no, no, you don't get to use that cannon. But yes. Yes, we can use the cannon ourselves. Aim it carefully. 
Fire! Gotcha. Fire! Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, you can use the cannons to shoot uh, Norks from a distance. Oh, this feels so nice. It feels so open. Dry cannon. Alright. That might be something to consider. Yeah, that's it. Hide in your tents. But, those tents are made out of cloth. So they're flammable. Oh, wait. Oh, we're gonna do the animation? Tell me you do the animation. Tell me you do the... You do it! <laughs> they lift up. They, uh, they lift up their uh, <laughs> little readers to show you their butts. Oh, uh, uh, that's funny. And that was comedy. You got a skill point. Which I believe was. Go here in our handy guidebook. Scare six Norks into tents. But I believe in the trophy list. We have to use a cannon to dispatch a taunting Gnor. Interesting. Let's see. Ah, there's a cannon. Come here. Turn, turn the cannon around. Like that. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you don't get to taunt me. I am Spyro. There's our balloonist. We need to collect a certain number of treasure before he'll be able to let us through. Well, let's free this dragon. Magnus. Hey, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Man, you really... You really are not ashamed about being fat. I can respect that. Ice cavern. Ooh, ice cavern. That level. That was. There's like. Active. Toys for Bob. Toys for Bob. Do you see this? This should not be here. Someone messed up in their level design. I mean, stuff like that happens. Oh, those. Those. I don't think. Yeah. Those are reinforced metal containers. You can't burn them, and you can't smash them. But what you can do. Is blow them up with a cannon. Shoot from a distance. Well, also. Take a shot right there. Blow up that section of wall. Uh, thank you, Sparks. Fly over here. Get me that. Give me that. And then we'll come over here. Get those three gems. Dr. Shem. The boss of Peacekeeper. Hmm. Well, I guess I was slightly wrong about my original theory that you need to beat a world to access the next, to access the boss. I guess that only applies to the arson. But here is Night Flight, the flying stage for the Peacekeeper world. But we're not done exploring the hub world just yet. I missed some gems over there. Because we have... An egg thief! You! Come back here with that egg! 
I also gotta keep it. I don't care. I need this egg thief. Where'd it go? Ah! Oh! Gotcha! Mine. That's just a gift for running around a small pool. Anyway. Gunner! Gunner! Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some. Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Found all the dragons. What's going on about destiny? That's not supposed to be until my, uh. That's not. That's a, all the Legend of Spires thing. That's all his doing. That's all his destiny thing. I'm just here to roast Rhinox and have fun. Anyway. We got a key, but we didn't find a treasure chest anywhere. But you can climb up this. A piece of rock formation jump glide over to this little uh 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 you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding game well first death first burp let's try this again Jump and glide over to here, and you'll be able to make it. And inside here is a secret room with some secret treasure, including a treasure chest. Now, if I collected all of them, there should only be. I should only need to collect two more gems. Uh oh. Uh, is this gonna be a thing? Like, is this gonna be a running thing? I'm always gonna be like missing one. There it is. Never mind. Crisis averted. We're good. Everything's good. We're all good. 100% level complete. Awesome. I can't believe I lost a life to that silly thing. Anyway, we are here at the Peacekeeper World. We are 20% complete with the game already. Nice. Making good progress. Let's head off. To the dry canyon. One thousand two hundred gems. Feels good, Spyro. Feels good. I like that little flare that he does now when he's entering a new world, when he's entering a world, a uh, stage. Alright, welcome to Dry Canyon. Let's go ahead and get things started. We got a turbine right here, we got spins spin, things around. Oh, what was that? Oh, you're shooting at me! Whoa. And you got a metal shield. That actually works! Who knew? Yeah. Keep trying, buddy. I'm sure you'll get it. Pop, pop. Is that. Beef, come back here with that egg right now. Well, we're gonna start seeing thieves more often now. I want the egg, so let me touch you with my horns. Let me poke you with my horns. Just want to poke you with my horns. That's all. So let me poke you with my horns. Oh, almost there. Tease it. Tease it. Mm. Catch him on the inside. There we go. And we got another egg. Awesome. Let's grab a gem. A gem. A gem. Casually avoid his shot. Take that guy out because he was bothering me. And let's free this dragon. Let's see what we got. Conan. Conan. What? Huh? Oh. 
Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Well, even that. Just that simple thank you for releasing me. me. Thank you for releasing me. Which is going to become like the most common message you get from these dragons after a certain point in the game. Because, you know, they use the dragons as a tutorial. As some tutorial. But even that had its own little personality towards it. It just makes me all the more excited to see what else this game has in store. Anyway, we can come up here. And we can glide over to this area. Which has some new which can which has some stuff in it for us to collect. Wow. Ooh, give me that. Wow. Pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that. Yeah, go ahead and shoot. Now I'm just gonna get you. I I'm impressed that you're able to fire muskets like that one-handed. Bird brain. You just charge at a vulture and you get a skill point. It's like Activision doesn't think we can't play a veteran Spyro players don't know how to play this game. <laughs> Give me that. I mean, we're gonna ignore the fact that I fell into uh, that poisonous swamp a few a couple minutes ago. All right, I won't tell them if you won't. Anyway, we come in here and we get another dragon. Ivor. Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, you've known... Ah, uh, I forget. Oh, bomber. Now, uh, what have you known? Hmm. What is it? Vulture. You can go. What has what did he mean by that? Interesting. Now one thing I do hope for, and no spoilers in the comment section for this, but I am looking forward to seeing if they actually do more with the story. I mean, I know they're supposed to, it's supposed to be the re- like, it's, they're trying to make keep it as faithful to the original as possible. But I wouldn't mind if they uh, do a bit more of expanding upon the store, you know. I'm sure they- I've known they've been in talks with Insomniac, the guys- the people- the company who made the original three Spyro games. So I'm sure they must have- uh, or hopefully they shared some ideas about, you know, Things they would have liked to have done had they the time and the skills that they did now with this game. But who knows? Anyway, we have these chests that are full of explosives. You burn them, you step back, and the explosives blow up and release some gems. We can do the same over to here. Get some more. Now over there is where a locked chest is at. But we do not have the key. Yet. What the? What the? Mm -hmm. Stupid vultures. Uh, thank you. We're gonna come over here. Sneak attack from the backside. Anyway, let's go up here, free our next dragon, Boris. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> But yes, as he stated, Dry Canyon is a good spot for teaching you some advanced gliding tricks. Like over here, gliding over to this area gets us to this section. Which gets us to this hill, which it may not seem like much at first glance. 
But if you jump off here, glide, and turn around, you'll land up here. A little hidden zone, hidden area with some gems, a dragon, and the key. Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Yeah, I'm hungry too. But anyway, that's all the dragons rescued, and we got the key. So let's head over back to that locked chest. Ah, feels nice. Music's nice. Beats be bumping. And we're just a small purple dragon with the ability to climb. Cruising around, burning norks. Burning and charging through norks and collecting our treasure and freeing our brother. It's just a good day. Although, I find the distinct lack of female dragons disturbing. But this was a game released in the 90s, so... Yeah. Anyway, you fight over here. There's obviously some treasure you can get. But more importantly, we'll use this key to open this chest and get some more gems. Then we just glide back over here. And we're getting a nice supply of gems. We are at 333. Out of 400. So we still got a fair amount of gems left. Let's move on. Let's see if we can find them. Ow. Burn you. Give me this extra life. Oh, careful. Do not want to go into that portal just yet. Three fifty-five. Ooh. And you contain our last gem. Four hundred gems. One hundred percent level complete. Awesome. Hmm. Let's head back. Sixteen hundred gems. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say no to that. You guys are not going to hide in there, are you? Cute. Uh, hey, Blunus, what's going on? I can't believe how fast you found so much stolen treasure. Hop aboard for the Magic Crafter's World if you're ready. Oh, man. All right. We already got enough gems to go to the Magic Crafter's World. That's nice. But I don't want to go there just yet. Let's see. I wonder is. Yeah, we can fast travel there. So there's something I want to check. And I'm going to quickly go over here to my trophies list. And that's Barnstormer. Do a loop around an arch. I 
I think they're one that's implied to be in the sunny fly. So I'm gonna travel over there and we'll see if we can get this uh, trophy with the five minutes that we have left. This might take a bit of a trial and error. Oh! Alright, so let's see. Nope. Nah, hmm. Dang. Alright, so pressing the L1 button does the loop. So I wonder, do they want to loop through that? Oh no, that's the, oh, I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Pressing the R1 button does the loop. All right, let's try this again. Oh. Dang it, Spire, you almost had it. Oh, but that was good enough for the game. Alrighty, cool. Well, oh, and quit. There you go, that's how you get that trophy for barnstorming. That did not take nearly as long as I thought it would. Uh, still up. Man, this game sucks. But anyway, let's go ahead and head on back to the Peacekeeper world. If I can still do the sprint jump ability, sprint jump maneuver. Jamie's in Peacekeepers. I wish to end the episode on the Peacekeepers world. Man, seeing that dragon with an axe makes me wonder they have, if the other dragons here have different weapons. Like, I know that one dragon, old dragon, had a bomb on him. And it's supposed to be like an old uh, veteran bomber. But man, I would be so excited if they had a dragon with a scythe. I'm a fan of scythes. I think it's an awesome weapon. Anyway, we'll go through here, because next time, on the Spyro Re- You messed up my egg outro! I'll burn you all. Where's a jackrabbit? There. Come here. Gimme. Next time on the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, we are off. To Cliff Town and the Ice Caverns to get more treasure, free more dragons, rescue some more eggs. Anyway, I hope you all are having a great day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to see more con to support the channel and to see more content from myself and my friends. Until then, take care and bye bye.